dear friends welcome to my channel hsr by info today we are going to discuss an important organelle of cells that is lysosomes lysosomes initially lysosomes were invented by a scientist called christian jude Christian Dudeway in the year of 1955. 1955. Generally, lysosomes are the organelles which are present in a cell and such organelles that contains plenty of hydrolytic enzymes. Plenty of hydrolytic enzymes essential for the digestion of food particles and digestion of any pathogenic that enter into our cell and many more functions are there. So, what is the function of lysosomes is the digestion, simply digestion due to the presence of hydrolytic enzymes, it showing the digestive property. Let us see what is the number, what is the number which is present in a cell? The number is varied from one cell to the another cell. The cells which contains the hydrolytic enzymes more such cells that involved in the digestive process. So the digestion is done by the lysosomes. Because of that, these number is varied from one cell to the another cell. The number is more abundantly present in digestive cells macrophages monocytes and neutrophils monocytes Neutrophils. These are the cells which contain the more abundant number of lysosomes. Okay. Then what are the exceptions? What are the exceptions of cell that doesn't contain the lysosomes in a particular cells? See the cells matured mammalian cells. Matured mammalian cells that doesn't contain the lysosomes and also euglena, a protist, euglena also doesn't contain the lysosomes in a cell. We know very well protists are the unicellular organisms that doesn't contain the, this lysosome. And also one more important meristematic cell meristematic cells actually these cells are which are present in plants especially the growing plants the meristematic cells are the undifferentiated cells which are present in the top of the growing plant these cells are very responsible for the differentiation into the different types of organs of plant. So, these cells also doesn't contain the lysosomes. Then coming to the shape. Shape is a spherical, most probably spherical. In some instances, the shape of these lysosomes may vary. So, most probably spherical. Okay, let us see the functions of lysosomes. Functions of lysosomes. Actually, the functions of lysosomes, which includes, which digest the phagosomes. It digests the pinosomes, 
it digests the autophagosomes autophagosomes and also involved in the neutralization of carcinogens neutralization of carcinogens and one more function of lysosomes are the involved in the defense defense mechanism in the form of killing pathogens Helic pathogens. These are the functions of lysosomes. Now coming to the types of lysosomes. How many types of lysosomes which are present in a cell? Let us see. There is a three types of lysosomes which are present in a cell as three types of lysosomes which are present in a cell as primary lysosomes, secondary lysosomes and tertiary lysosomes. These are the three different kinds of lysosomes which are resulted from the action of lysosomes after the functions. During the function they convert from primary to the secondary, secondary to the tertiary. So, in this way, these are the types, these are the functions, these are the number, shape and also scientists who discovered or invented these lysosomes. Now, we have to understood what are these, what are the phagosomes and phenosomes, autophagosomes and how it neutralizes the carcinogens, how it involves in the killing of pathogens. So, we have to know these functions. In these functions, we will clarify these three stages of lysosomes. Okay, let us look with the a excellent diagram. Okay, okay, let us see the diagram. Actually, you just assume this is the cell. The cell that contains the nucleus nucleus from the nucleus there is organelle that is coming from this organelle is endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum er at the same time here are some another organelle that is Golgi body. Okay. Here, the endoplasmic reticulum that contains the ribosomes on its surface such endoplasmic reticulum we called as the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Here I am going to show you complete how lysosomes are formed and how that act on different phagosomes and different vacuoles of cell. So here that contains the endoplasmic reticulum on the ribosomes, ribosomes on the endoplasmic reticulum and also Golgi complex. Here the endoplasmic reticulum that produces or synthesizes the protein with the help of the ribosomes. That protein is released into the cytoplasm in the form of vesicles. These vesicles that contains the protein inside. These vesicles are taken by the Golgi complex. Now, these vesicles are taken up by the Golgi complex. These Golgi complex are interconnected with each other, interconnected and finally, it produces the matured enzyme, matured enzyme or proteins. 
here these are the protein or enzymes these enzymes or proteins are uptaken by the golgi complex finally it releases the it releases the vesicles like this from the site of the golgi golgi and bodies it releases the vesicles and also these are the small number these are the vesicles these are the vacuoles golgi body that produces the vesicles and vacuoles these vacuoles actually that contains the these enzyme or protein inside enzyme or protein inside of vacuoles these vacuoles are we called as a primary lysosomes this is called as primary lysosomes let us draw here this primary lysosome primary lysosome actually this primary lysosome that contains the hydrolytic enzymes many types of hydrolytic enzymes that contains inside of the primary lysosome such like hydrolytic enzymes all are present in the medium of acidic condition so this lysosome that contains are maintaining the acidic condition due to the presence of a pump called as h plus pump or h plus atps h plus atps this h plus atps that pumps the h plus ion into the inside of the lysosome and maintains the ph of 5 to 5.5 this is a acidic ph this is in this acidic ph there are many number of hydrolytic enzymes which are present in this area so here this lysosome that contains a membrane outer membrane and also this lysosome contains a matrix or lumen of inside area this inside lumen that contains the many number of hydrolytic enzymes hydrolytic enzymes that means they adding the water to the bonds and break it into two individual parts simply they break the bonds by adding the water so these hydrolytic enzymes also we called as a digestive enzymes because of this lysosome that involved in the digestive process so these enzymes all are simply called as digestive enzymes okay now the primary lysosome that contains the enzymes in the acidic medium such enzymes are not active in nature that only present as inactive these inactive enzymes can get activated by the attachment of phenocytes phagocytes and autophagocytes let us see what is the phenocytes what is the phagocyte and what is the autophagocytes see this is i already told this is the cell all this process that present inside of the cell now the food particles the food particles that are present outside of the cell that should be enter into the cell the food may present in two forms one is a solid another one is a liquid liquid at the same time similarly the solid particles are the pathogens food or solid food are pathogens now the food solid food items and also pathogen must be enter into this cell at the same time liquid food also enter into this cell here we have to realize that here is a plasma membrane it is a double membrane layer you know very well plasma membrane is a double membrane layer. 
this double membrane layer get pinched into the inside of the cell. They fold into the inside of the cell like this. the holdings that are present in the plasma membrane. Now, the solid particles that enter into these holdings, like this. Similarly, the liquid also enter into the liquid food that enter into the cell through the a folding. Through the a folding. Here is the liquid which is present. This is the first stage. The plasma membrane get folded inside of the cell. Now, these foldings get pinched off from the plasma membrane. I am seeing only here. only two foldings and these are the vesicles. These vesicles are foldings that contain the solid food here, solid food or any pathogen. Now, the liquid which are present inside of these vaccines. What will happen now? These type of foldings that are pinched off from the plasma membrane we call as a phagosome. Phagosome. These are the vesicles that present that contains the liquid inside of the vacuole. Such type of vacuoles we call as pinosomes. We got the phagosomes and pinosomes. Then what is the autophagosome? This is the cell. The cell that if may rupture, the ruptured cell that contains the mycelium mitochondria that may contain the mitochondria. So, such type of cell must be digested this ruptured mitochondria. Then what will happen? This mitochondria get surrounded by a membrane like structures. Such structures form the membrane, membrane like double membrane like structures. Such type of Folding such type of vesicles we called as a autophagosomes. Autophagosome. Now, what we got? Autophagosomes, phenosomes, and phagosomes. So here, what will happen? What was happened? Solid particle and liquid particle that enter into inside through the process called as a endocytosis. Endo means inside of the cell. That process called as a endocytosis. Now, the endocyte is phagosomes and phenosomes and also the auto, auto means itself. The cellular content. The cellular content get converted into the phagosome. All these phagosomes that are attached to the this, what is this? This is the lysosome. The lysosome, especially primary lysosome. The primary lysosome that contains the many hydrolytic enzymes. Many hydrolytic enzymes. These hydrolytic enzymes, whenever they are attached to the phagosomes and phenosome, autophagosome, that activated into the inactive form to the active form. Now, this is converted into the second, this is converted into the active enzyme contained vesicle that is called as a lysosome that is bind here, that is bind here. So, this lysosome 
that contains the sorry this lysosome that contains the active hydrolytic enzymes active hydrolytic enzymes so the active hydrolytic enzymes contained lysosomes we called as a secondary lysosomes this one this one and this one this all three are the secondary lysosomes now what will happen the mitochondria attached with the secondary lysosome pinocytes attached to the secondary lysosome phagosome also attached to the secondary lysosome the secondary lysosome contained activated hydrolytic enzyme that act on these mitochondria and also food particle or any pathogenic organism now due to the action of these hydrolytic enzymes all these particles it may food or pathogen it may liquid food and also it may mitochondria of self cell so these are get digested into the small small very minute pieces then after that undigested food particles undigested food particles what happened here after binding to these phagosome phenosome and autophagosome the two phagosomes and the li secondary lysosome get converted into the single form like this if there is a two forms these two forms that convert into very bigger one like this so after the addition of these two substances which are present in the lysosomes and also vacuoles all these together they forms a, a bigger one in this bigger one all the substances like food or any pathogen or any liquid food get digested after that these secondary lysosomes that converted into the tertiary lysosomes tertiary lysosomes what happened after digestion digested food particle get absorbed by the cells undigested food particles only that are present in the inside of the cell lysosome that are present in the inside of the lysosome i am just showing here only there is a this is also convert into like this this is also convert into like this so such type of vacuoles or such type of lysosomes that contains only undigested food particles so such type of lysosomes called as a tertiary lysosomes are also called as a residual body residual bodies now what will happen the residual body that contains the undigested food particle now this undigested food particle must be enter into the outside of this cell so what will happen this tertiary lysosome that comes very near to the plasma membrane and attached to the plasma membrane forms the a structure called like this forms the tertiary lysosomes to the like this and undigested food material get enter into outside this process we called as a exocytosis what i have said the endocytosis is happened here whereas exocytosis is happening here what is that means exocytosis means release inside to the outside endocytosis means in outside to the inside so it is process called as a exocytosis exocytosis what happened you just assume what i have mentioned here autophagosomes phagosomes phenosomes and there are three types of lysosomes primary secondary and tertiary the tertiary one is a residual body here due to the autophagosome formation due to the autophagosome formation by the cellular components and these cellular components that are attached to the lysosome 
So, such a cellular component is digesting inside of the same cell. So, such a type of lysosomes we call as a suicidal bodies. Suicidal bodies. If a cell get ruptured, if a cell get damaged, then the lysosomes can act on the components of cells and finally that such cells get finally completely digested and completely will get death. So that's why it is called as a suicidal bodies. Lysosomes also called as suicidal bodies. Lysosomes that contains the residual body. Lysosome that contains the inactivated enzymes or proteins. Lysosomes also that contains the activated enzymes, especially secondary lysosomes. This is a very important. Now, the concept here is a, there is a many enzymes like hydrolytic enzymes or any digestive enzymes. All these digestive enzymes, hydrolytic enzymes are comes under, see here, aspartages. Lipases, carbohydrates, esterases, sulfates, sulfatases, sulfatases, and the sixth one is the nucleus. So, he can see any biomolecule. The digestion means there is a biomolecule, it may be protein, nucleic acid, lipids and etc. So, these biomolecules that contain the bonds, all the biomolecules especially proteins and also carbohydrates and nucleic acids are the polymers. That polymers that contains monomers, all these monomers get together through the bonds called as a many type of bonds for the polymer. If such polymer get converted into the monomer, such process we call as a digestion from the polymer to the monomer. So, if you want to convert polymer to the monomer, the bond should be break down. Such breakdown can be done by the lysosome enzyme, lysosome that contains this type of hydrolytic enzymes. Nucleases, we know very well, RNA is a nucleic acid and also DNA. Nucleases, nothing but RNAs and DNAs. There is a carbohydrates. The carbohydrates are that act on the carbohydrates, glycosidic bonds, lipids that act on the lipid moieties and also phosphatases that also act on the phosphate groups where there is a present in the Biomolecules. So, all these six type of enzymes that are present in the lysosomes that act on the food particle that may act on the pathogen. Pathogen also made up with the biomolecules. Is it right? Similarly, autophagosome that contains the mitochondria. Mitochondria also that contains the biomolecules. Any organelle of the cell that contains many biomolecules. If the biomolecules can be digested, that organelle can be digested. So, in this way, the lysosomes which are present in the cell play a very important role in the digestion process. So, here autophagosomes. These autophagosomes also which leads to the a process called as apoptosis, programmed cell death. So, lysosomes also involved in the programmed cell death. Here, the pathogens that enter into the cell, that is, forms into the phagosome. Here, in the phagosome, that converted into the a particular structures, whenever that attached to the lysosomes, it processes the pathogenic organism. Such process we called as the antigen processing. Antigen processing. What happening after antigen processing? The processing means the breakdown of the antigens. It may be pathogen like uh, 
bacteria, it may virus, it may protozoans, whatever the pathogen that enter into the cell and processed by the lysosomes. The processed antigen that convert into many simple pieces, the undigested particles, we call as the antigens that enter outside. So, such type of process we call as the antigen processing and also such digested particle exposed to the outside of the cell, such process we call as the antigen presenting. So, lysosomes also involved in the antigen presenting, antigen processing and also digestion of internal structures, digestion of food particles. So, in this way, it is also involved in the carcinogen digestion. Carcinogens also are the moieties which causes the cancer. Such type of cancer carcinogens are intaken by the cell like endocytosis and finally, it releases a non cancerogenic form into the outside through the exocytosis like this. So, lysosomes are very very important for the cell survival and also it protects the cell from the any pathogenic organism and also from the rupture and also some damages. What I mentioned here endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex and also vacuoles. So, from here to here, here to here. So, this entire concept we call as a ERGL complex. ERGL complex, which is also called as a GRL complex. GRL complex or GRL concept. So, endoplasmic reticulum from where to the proteins enter into the Golgi complex, from where to the that forms the lysosomes, especially primary lysosome, from where to the it forms into the secondary lysosome after attachment of the phagosome or phenosome or autophagosome. So, from after that, that converts into the tertiary lysosome that contains the undigested food that also called as a residual bodies. Finally, it releases the undigested food particles or any antigen into the outside through the process exocytosis. So, it is clear. So, I hope it is a very clear to understood. If you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel HSR by info.